Hey there, just a quick cheap video. I've been seeing a bunch of posts on Facebook and Google Plus and especially Twitter lately. People demanding that products that contain GMOs have to be labeled. It should be mandatory that these things are labeled. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, if a company wants to label that they don't use GMOs, you know, the government shouldn't stop them. And there have been some pushes by some people to shove forth that uh, companies shouldn't even be able to do this because it might hurt the companies that uh, uh, that blatantly do use GMOs. You know, whatever. You know, if, if a co whatever a company wants to market their product as should be up to them. But I certainly don't think uh, companies should be forced to label if they use GMOs. All this GMO anti-GMO stuff is it's on par with anti-vaxxers quite frankly you have no real science behind you if you are speaking against GMOs you just don't um, there are all of the science the peer-reviewed science the the studies that use the scientific method show that GMOs are not a health risk um, something to take note of. The, the, most of the websites that are anti-GMO have links to homeopathic remedies to things. Okay? Now, the placebo effect can be quite powerful. This has been proven. But that's about all of the, that these uh, homeopathic uh, remedies for things are worth. So, you know, any website that's going to push forth uh, for homeopathy, uh, or is it homeopathy? What's the right way to pronounce it? Anyway, um, loses most of its credibility, just like Alex Jones, you know? Sure, uh, someone like Alex Jones might, uh, one out of a hundred things he says might be true. But you're supposed to wade through all that shit and try to figure that out. If a website shoves forth uh, homeopathic remedies, uh, you might as well toss it aside as just being another conspiracy website. Um, the sort of mindset that's that these things have in common too are, you know, they'll say, "Oh, look, uh, this. If your the food that you're eating has some." ingredients in it that you can't pronounce or they're really really long names uh, be scared uh, no don't be scared okay now if you look these things up and you find truly that um it has these ingredients are something that have been scientifically proven to be bad for us yeah that's that's a different story but um you know, you can look up, you can look up the chemical makeup of a, an apple or an orange and find tons of chemicals you can't pronounce. Um, I very much am a supporter of looking up the looking at the ingredient lists of products you want to ingest, and when you don't know what they mean, you look them up. These these are your friends. These are some of the greatest things about having this technology around. Anything that you don't know at, the, at that moment, you can look up. And so what if something that would have taken you 10 minutes to shop for, you now spent two hours, you know, the next time you shop for those things, you'll have more knowledge and it won't take as long. So, but, you know, when it comes to GMOs, yeah, your ignorance in science is not an argument against science. Your feelings are irrelevant on this. Look at the facts, look at the science, and shut the fuck up.